Now I know it might be a little early to do a summer video, but I was just in Zara yesterday because I wanted to shop and buy a few things for my trip to Miami that I'm taking tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this, because we are going there to shoot my summer campaign for my accessories brand. And of course I wanted a few new summery things because I think it's like 88 there, so hot. So I bought a bunch of stuff and I need to try it on right now for the first time. So you're going to see it the same time I am for the first time. And I'm gonna figure out what I wanna bring and I definitely Definitely want to hear your comments to let me know if you liked it, if you hated it, and whatnot. First look, to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. I'm wearing it now. So cute, little brown coordinate, little top, open back, which I'm oh, not 100% about because you guys know I like to wear a bra. But I'm just sad because I underestimated the size. I grabbed myself a small and I should have grabbed a medium. And actually, this top is in medium and I could have gotten a small because you know, no bra, I like to make sure it's super tight to keep the girls up, you know? They're not as high as they used to be. <laughs> but I just thought this outfit was so chic and so pretty. And then I topped it off with these, my favorite part actually, these little slides. They're, what color is this? I don't know, I think I would call it like a bone or a beige color. Please do not look at the hideous, it's not even a pedicure, my toes, because I need to paint my toenails before I leave tomorrow. I'm a little bit of all kinds of a mess right now, but I didn't want to leave. Shoot, there's a spider. Hold please. Babe, babe, can you come kill this spider? You guys remember him? <laughs> I have a husband. You're never on my channel, ever. No. We gotta do a video soon. Do we? Yeah, me cutting my hair again. <laughs> he was on my TikTok and cut his own hair and it actually got a lot of views. But everyone was cutting their hair during COVID. Okay, anyways, thank you, babe. You guys are gonna see some tags because I don't know what I'm keeping yet. So I really <laughs> need your help with the comments. And obvious, and sadly, I'm not keeping this because just the fit. I feel like a bust of can of biscuits. In the bottom, too small. <laughs> so, all right, moving on. What else am I gonna try? Oh my gosh. You guys, look what I pulled. You're not gonna believe this. Ah! It's loud, but, and it's very 70s. So let's try it. Very surprised with how much I love this. I love it. <laughs> it's that perfect pairing of 70s style sensibility, and then I still have, you know, the structure clean lines, which is definitely my style. I love like a bit of androgyny in everything I wear. And then I tucked it in to these Zara shorts. I would like to report that I actually found shorts that don't ride up your ass or look like you're wearing bikini bottoms. They fit really well. They're actually at a normal, modest, well, they're a little short. They're, they're short, but they're not crazy like like what the kids wear. Um, so you guys have to check them out. And they're high rise, so you know everything's held in and, and we're doing good. But this electric chartreuse lime green color just feels so fresh and bold and new, right? Like, when was the last time you wore this color? Never. <laughs> so I like that. And then I toned it down with the Zara slides, you know, the bone color slides that I will be wearing constantly. This is definitely coming to Miami. <laughs> Okay, this dress is definitely coming with me to Miami. It feels very like French Riviera, Cannes, or even like, I don't know, Positano, Italy. Um, I don't know, it just feels very rich looking. How much is this? $69. Um, and I know it seem, might seem weird to wear a sweater dress to, you know, very humid temperatures, but I think this is more in like the crochet family. And I feel like the black undergarments are a little bit more subtle, but definitely appropriate in my world to go to dinner in. You know, it feels very vacation resort wear, you know, pretty elegant to me. And then I paired it with the Zara slides that I'm literally going to be wearing all year round. And I don't know, I just feel effortless, but I feel really stylish. I'd probably like pull my hair back. Oh yeah, that works. That works, right? In like kind of a severe sleek, slick back, kind of low pony situation. Yeah, this is giving me vacation vibes. Do you guys like it? Yeah, I'm loving it. Number one, it's comfortable. So comfortable. Now I understand the whole like bra and panty coming through sheer moment is not for everyone. If you love this dress, it would look just as elegant and beautiful with a slip underneath. I would, you know, try maybe a nude slip or black, but for me, I think it works with the black underneath because you can kind of see some skin. It kind of breaks it up a little bit, but uh, 
Just a little tip, love this baby. This is such a great comfy casual beach dress that I actually pulled for one of our models to wear. So sidebar, we are doing our biggest shoot I've ever done in the history of my company. Well, my company is only two and a half years old, but. <laughs> We're flying to Miami, my assistant and I, and we hired two models, a photographer, and we shipped boxes of supplies there. I'm also lugging a few suitcases on the plane, and I will have some of the models close. So I pulled this for the model, and then I took it, because I was like, maybe I wanna wear it. It's such a great throw on and go outfit, but one problem, can't wear a bra. And that for me is a deal breaker. We've got a breakup, it's not happening. I mean, it would be good for a bathing suit cover up for sure, but as, do I wanna keep it? No, cause I prefer it to be like both bathing suit cover up and then I can also like put it on and go to dinner. You know, I love a twofer. <laughs> Oh, and these, these slides, oh my gosh, they're so, I hate showing you guys my feet because I need to do my pedicure. Literally the perfect slide that you will wear with absolutely everything right here. Zara, again, uh, I think they were 49 bucks. So expensive. I swear you would find something like this at Saks or Neiman Marcus for like $300, but oh, I love these babies. Okay, mm, sadly, this outfit's not gonna work for me, but the slides are a 10. 100. So Matt's home today, my husband, for those of you who don't know. So I'm asking him to help me shoot my video and he's over me right now because he's trying to watch Friday and he's like cracking up outside, out there, like laughing his ass off. And I've already been like, can you do this footage? Can you kill the spider? Can you do all these things? He's like, please leave me alone. So uh, I gotta go get him. I saw this in the store and I was immediately inspired to make it a cover up with a black bathing suit underneath. And I'm thinking I'm loving it. Now I do have one complaint. I wish it was a little straighter down. It feels like it flares out at the widest part of the hips, which I don't love. I wish it was more of like a column silhouette, <laughs> but I think this is really chic for Miami. Do you guys like it? Did you, did you like my vision? I mean, I guess I could also do white bathing suit underneath. White might be better, white or black. But then the black's really striking too. Um, just an easy throw on, go to the pool, beach outfit, but then, well, I said it. It feels like an outfit, like a really stylish outfit, right? I mean, who knows? I might put on heels and wear this for a night out, yeah? Yes, I probably would, depending on if I've had too many cocktails and I don't want to get ready for dinner. It happens when you're on vacation. <laughs> okay, so I just showed Matt this and it might not be coming with me. He's like, I don't know. He's like, I don't think it does anything for your figure. I don't know, he said it like cuts me off a little. I don't know if I, I don't see it. So I don't know, I'm on the fence. Okay, this next one's just a little fun colored tank I grabbed seriously when I was just walking out of there. I love this sunshine bright. Well, actually it's kind of like a kumquat color. It might be a little, small, should have maybe got a medium. It might be this strapless, but I love the brilliant punchy color. And then I also got this little wooden bangle that I thought so pretty. I also bought it for our photo shoot cause I can imagine like straw bag, top tote, hat, bangle, fabulous. You see my vision? <laughs> so yeah, just an easy kind of everyday top to mix it up because I usually just wear black, white and beige tank top. So, you know, just liven it up a little bit. But yeah, that's it, you guys. Um, I really just have to pack. It's, I don't know what time it is. It's 4.30 and I haven't packed one thing and I leave first thing tomorrow. Bonus tip before I go and so important. You know how strapless bras are like the worst thing that you have to wear ever. I found a strapless bra that's moderately comfortable. I'm gonna say moderately because it's a strapless bra. Let's be honest. Um, I'm wearing it now. It's the maiden form full coverage underwire bra. It's seamless, it holds you up, it gives you shape so it doesn't make you look like you have the uniboob. You know what I'm saying, how some of those do? It's truly the best one that I have seen or tried on in the market, so I will link it below. And also, if you have a better option, please share because I think the world needs to know <laughs> when we find a strapless bra that's actually comfortable and works and that's this baby, so you can see. Seamless, it's so good. I think I've talked about it in the past. And I'm so happy I did this because now I have a few new things to make me feel special on my big trip. Uh, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram so you can see I will be documenting the whole photo shoot and uh, showing you behind the scenes and all the good stuff. Thank you again for always tuning in. It means the world. And uh, I will see you next week. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.